honey-based treats, embroidered shirts, ethnic jewelry and clay dishes are the first things to greet the visitors as they enter the open-air Museum of Folk Architecture in Perihiv, just outside Kiev. The honey theme develops further as one encounters a myriad of flavors of honey and even some honey-flavored soap. Mikoli is a beekeeper from the town of Biotserkva near Kiev. He's adamant that everyone should eat a bit of honey every day. This is your health. If Ukrainians eat honey, our nation will be healthy. It's full of vitamins and microelements. This is a natural product that's important for your immune system and there are carbohydrates necessary for your brain. Take this honeycomb, for example. This is the freshest honey. There is more to this fair than honey. Visitors can also engage in activities traditional for the Honey Saviour holiday. Adults and children decorate a wooden cross with flowers. This tradition is many centuries old and is alive to this day. Crosses like this were installed at the opposite ends of the village as a powerful safeguard from the powers of evil. Everyone knows about Halloween, but few know that ages ago on top of a cross, Ukrainians also used to put a pumpkin with eyes and a mouth cut out in it. And at night they would light a candle inside of it. Once ready, the decorated cross becomes a popular object for photos. Nearby, everyone willing can use their imagination and put together their own traditional bouquet from a big selection of flowers on offer. This bouquet is called a makovi. How so? Well, that's because poppy bulbs, that's mock in Ukrainian, are an integral. They are wild poppies. The flowers that used to be gathered by women and children would help too. For the Honey Savior holiday, such bouquets were placed in churches as talismans. Makovi was believed to provide family, health and good fortune for the whole year ahead. The poppy bulb has a small number of seeds, and seeds are a symbol of eternal life. Poppies were used for medicinal purposes and as a talisman to protect from evil. It was complemented by cornflowers and oregano, which are women's herbs, by ruta and mint for male health. On top of that, Ukrainians used to add many flowers to this bouquet. Boris went to the event with his parents and siblings. We came to celebrate the honey savior. We love honey a lot and respect our traditions. I expect there to be more entertainment and more visitors next year. Eastern Orthodox Christians celebrate three kinds of savior holiday. Makovi, or the honey savior, is on August the 14th. The apple one is on August 19th. And the bread savior is on the 29th. Reported by Anastasia Fedchenko, UATV.